as Supersonic said, every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. And yeah, you know, this isn't the end of the season. We still got a chunk of the season left, but that saying probably doesn't even pertain to what we're talking about here, but check this out. We're at Michigan. This is where we started the season. But if you've been watching these videos, things look different, don't they? Ricky will talk about it. This is some elite setup. Ricky will talk about it. Just fast forward to the race if you want to hear about it. He'll talk about it in early laps if he's not peeing himself. Let's take a look at these points. 14 races remaining. Jeff Gordon, baby. Jeff Gordon continues his meteoric rise up the standings. Ricky Rudd <laughs> should have won at Watkins Glen. He's going to get back on the horse here at Michigan. Uh, we'll throw up the schedule somewhere. Uh, tail of the tape, we've been uh, putting that on the back burner because we got... Uh, we. <laughs> What's going on here with this new setup Ricky's going to talk about changes the game. Literally change. It's a game changer. Literally, folks. And you know how I, I, I don't use the word literally, liberally. It's a literal game changer. Before we get to the race, though, Ricky does have to qualify. He's uh, coming out of turn two, getting ready for his hot qualifying lap. You know, uh, a lot of his fans are getting on his case that he hasn't won a race yet. And I don't think I want to. I'm not going to get on this case because, you know, ever since I joined the series, I'm able to take showers with the with the drivers and stuff after the races, you know. So uh, we're on the shower getting lathered up and uh, using the zest, the official soap of NASCAR. And, you know, we're always in the shower there naked. Uh, this is the uh, Oscar Mayer hot lap brought to you by Oscar Mayer Hot Wieners. Um, I'm going to not... Uh, I'm not going to give Ricky a hard time anymore because he... You know, just, just, I'm just going to say it. He has the smallest penis in the field. And, I mean, that's something that's probably weighing him down. Well, it's not weighing him down, you know, but it's probably something that's in the back of his mind all the time that he's just, I don't know. I don't know if it affects his driving or not, but I'm not going to give him a hard time. Anyway, he's coming out of turn four in his qualifying lap, folks. He wants to get a, I forget, something point six. I think 38.6. He ran a 40 flat, <laughs> so I think, I think just I think you heard me talking about his thing, and he's gonna be starting near the back. He, this is a bad, bad time. Yes, folks, we are here in Michigan. I forget what <laughs> I forget what race this is now. Probably one of the Millers. I would bet it's, or no, it's something. It's on the screen there. Damn it. I can't believe I forgot. But uh, it's not DeVilbis. I don't think it's DeVilbis. It might be something like that. Anyway, we're here <laughs> at Michigan. Let's check out, let's check out this uh, starting grid brought to you by CompUSA. Jeff Gordon on the pole with 38.904. Uh... None of, the, none of the names that we want to be in the top 10 because of our skill rating switch are up there. So this is turning it. It's getting to be bullshit. Although Axel Richardson and Johnny Benson had good starts at Watkins Glen. Anyway, Ricky Rudd, he wanted a 30. I said something point six. He wanted a 39.6. Andre the Giant got a 39.672. Ricky just, <laughs> Ricky just didn't do it. I don't know what happened there on the qualifying lap. He ended up running a 40 flat pretty much, which is one of the worst laps I think they almost didn't allow him to race he had to take like a uh, not a provisional but just a uh, I don't know I, I think I don't know <laughs> so, <laughs> I started that well I started that sentence and didn't know how I was gonna finish it so that's that anyway let's send it down to Ricky he's gonna talk about the new look to the game I'll be back and hopefully the replay is showing stuff here because we have to deal with the replay issues again all right Green flag's coming, Jack. All right, folks. We're, we're underway, I think. <laughs> so, this is, uh, just right away, this is NASCAR 99 as the shell, but the aesthetic and everything else is NASCAR Racing too. So, the cars look better. Like, uh, the graphics look better. I mean, the cars load up front there better. I mean, you can see they aren't really pixelated up there. I've changed it. I've changed the 3D FX wrapper I'm using. Anyway, the link is in the description. Uh, Pavel, I've mentioned him a few times. Pavel over on the Kart Racing Forums. 
I was asking some questions over there about some things in the game. And then he just dropped a bomb on me. He was just like, oh, just try this. Just real casually, like. And it's basically not even running. This isn't even in DOSBox. This is running in a native, as a native Windows application. And he just threw this at me. He was just like, here, uh, this is what I do. <laughs> I was like, okay. The downside is, and you'll see me in that thread, if you click the descri in the description, you'll see me in that thread. Like, you know, I get this game going, and I'm like, I'm flipping out, and I can't believe it. And then I'm the turd that's, oh, we got Jeff 9 blown up here. And then I'm the turd that's like, so uh, why can't I save all the, the whole replay? <laughs> So we're, uh, I'm guessing he's trying to find an answer for that. We, we haven't been able to figure it out, which is pretty much the last thing on anyone else's mind, except for me. But everything else is working great, except for the standing ticker just didn't fly up the screen. I had to manually put it up the screen. So, uh-oh. I tested that and I thought it was working. Jeff Bodine. Oh, we got a spin too. Damn it. It's a hell. Lake speed. Just as I was. Oh, I was going to vomit. Just as I was watching Jeff Bodine's situation, Lake speed spins out. Um, and yeah, we have a, a 13 minute limit now on replays. If anyone opens up that folder and experiments and finds a way to get longer replays let me know but I can't I cannot figure it out so if you hear my phone go off I have a timer set for every 10 minutes to go save the replay all right John Smith Oh, God, this is tight up here. Get out of my way, John Smith. Stay down there. We better not be three wide. But Andre's right. I, I needed a 39.6, and I can run a 39.6, and I just, I don't know. Didn't get it done on the qualifying lap. Oh, and if I'm showing the, I don't know if I'm still showing the, uh, the race action or what, but when you see the cockpit, the red of on the tachometer, it gets, uh, I don't know, whatever the word is for it there. You'll see what I mean when you see it. I just got to, it has something to do with the wrapper I'm using or something. Like I have any idea what I'm talking about. No, oh, it has something to do with the DLL Glidex 2 wrapper. Like I have no idea. But... This is the Voodoo Wrapper. Oh, we got another somebody smoking out, or whatever that is. <laughs> Blowing up. That's Rick Mast. He's going to be pitting soon. What have I done here? I've gained some spots here. P27. Did we pass Andre? I think Andre's still up there. I don't know. And then the frequent save, stopping and saving replays. I'm going to try to, I'm going to edit them at least this race to show you it can be done. It, it can be done pretty flawlessly. The only thing we lose is the sound for about two frames, three frames. And I can always, when I'm editing, clip the sound near it and throw it in there. And it, it probably won't make a difference. You probably won't be able to tell the difference. But it's just, it's such a tedious thing to do every race that I'm not going to do it every race. So, so yeah, with this N99 shell, I had fears that the AI wouldn't be running their aggressive lines that they've been running because I really enjoy that in the turns and everything except for Ward Burton which looking at the replay I definitely that's a lesson learned next time I'll definitely slow up if they pass me there um, but um, 
I haven't really seen a difference. It's a, and actually, I have. I'm, not, I'm lying. I've seen a little bit of a difference in some laps. I was doing some practice laps here. Um, it's different, but it's actually a little bit better than what I was enjoying about it. It's hard to explain. Like, they won't force themselves up there. I don't know. When it happens, I'll point it out. Suck it, Andre. So we're halfway to pit stops already. We're doing 50 laps, and we're doing 18 to 20 lap window here. I don't think this is winnable without a caution, That and cautions are off. But we're just having fun. We'll eventually win somewhere. So far we've had what? Rick Mast, Lake Speed, Jeff Bodine. Just chaos. So with that Lake Speed spin out, we definitely know this is N you know, running as N ninety nine, but we still have the NASCAR two spin outs. So that's that would be a deal breaker. If we couldn't get those uh, keep those spin outs. But again, as I mentioned, I think they put those in the game because they don't allow these cars to touch. And it seems like this build, <laughs> whatever it is, they don't touch either. So if our theory is correct, then that's why they're still here. I set a 10 minute timer before the pace lap, so that should be going off here. And I won't bore you with that all the time, just looking for stuff to talk about sometimes. And this first time we'll save the replay together. So there's the alarm going off. I'm gonna pause right here. <laughs> keep that wheel, keep that wheel where it's at. Hit repeat on my phone. Standings are gonna run right now. And you're gonna see, we're gonna go into the replay. And sometimes this loses the mouse. I'm going to hit pause, but sometimes when you're in the replay, the standings ticker is going. And it'll fast forward like that a frame. It gets annoying. So we got to the, uh, yeah, nine minutes pretty much. Um, and I'm going to save. This is practice and qualifying. And then this is, I guess, <laughs> race one. I don't know. And then I'll just have to go by. I'll just have to go back and find all the wrecks and stuff so okay here we go timers reset we're off and that first replay will save the beginning of the race all the wrecks and stuff so far that's good stuff all right, here we go. We got to get around. We got five, six laps until pit stops. Let's get around these jokers. Clear. But the difficulty's tightening up already. Car high. Still there. Still there. Still there. Still there. They're all around. Car high. Clear. All right, clear. I probably, I'll, uh, as is custom, I've probably showed Dale Earnhardt's car this race. Again, progress I'm making with paint jobs, but I've come to the realization I'm using like gradients on it right now. And then if you watch the painting video, basically anything you make and you drop it into the palette, It'll fix the colors. Try to find the closest color or whatever it does. And I found that's just not cutting it. So I have to keep the NASCAR 2 palette and use it to paint the car. And I'll, I'll, I'll eventually show you what I'm doing on that front. But I have the sides of the cars done. I got to do the front, the back, like the shading, which is just the huge part. 
without the shading, it just looks like a, a clown car. But that'll be coming. Anyway, lap 16. I'm closing down. I'm closing in on these guys in a hurry. Maybe they're slower at the end of the run. Sucks for them. held up by somebody. Uh, did somebody wreck? Like Speed wrecked. He might still be in the race. Might be holding them up some. Because what? Jeff O'Dine and Rick Mass DNF. And as predicted, Lake Speed was holding them up some. I think that's him. 99% sure. Alright, we may be seeing pit stops here. There's Ted Musgrave. Let's be careful. I can't believe I, I can't believe I moved to the bottom of the track when I knew they were pitting. Anyway, I'll pit next lap. Let's send it to Andre. See what he's got cooking. It's just me and you on the track right now, brother. Everybody else is pitting. I see you way up there in the distance. Oh, I forget where I'm running. I forgot to check. Getting into this new workflow. I, I haven't asked my crew chief what we're doing. We'll be fine. But uh, I am pitting this lap. I think Ricky's pitting this lap as well. I think it looks like he's up there behind Ward Burton and all that. I'm making a hard move there. <laughs> it's the Andre Giant pit road move. Got some uh, fans in the stands there. I saw Andre Nation. I waved at them. There's Ricky. Hey, Ricky! Gotta find my stall here. I'm up, I'm up near the flag. I'm up near the American flag, I remember. No, I'm not. <laughs> so, I think I'm near the 76 ball. No, the ambulance, maybe. Jump O'Dine. I'm right near... Yeah, that's where I am. Couldn't remember, but... Yeah, jack me up, boys. Need a good pit stop. Clean my windshield. Need a, need a drink. Need a water. Uh... Maybe some uh, Fuji wa Fiji water, f whatever. No, none of the vitamin water. I don't like that vitamin water. It's bland. I need. I don't know. Oh, Ricky, what are you doing? I'm way too close for comfort, there, Ricky. I'm gonna chase him down. Gonna go to the speed limit here, though. Sixty. Five miles an hour. Beautiful day here in Michigan, folks. The water tower glistening in the sunlight. Score tower looks good. I got, I got to tiptoe around the uh, apron here. Not ruin anyone's day. You know how it goes. And we're just filling dead air until we can go back to uh, Ricky's, Ricky's mic. Ricky's audio or whatever. Should be coming up here shortly. All right, thanks, Andre. Yeah, I tried to scare you a little bit on pit road. And if you were watching my cockpit, I accidentally left the uh, auto brake on after pit road. And lost some positions there. But oh well. Everything else going good though. Worried about this. Worried about our standings ticker not moving to the top of the standings when it flashes. Oh well. All right, folks, after uh, 19, 20 laps of 50, Dale Jarrett in the lead, trying to rebound from his first not top 10 finish of the season. Ernie Irvin, Terry Labonte, Jeff Gordon up there yet again. Mark Martin rounds out the top five. Let's not sleep on Mark Martin. Six through ten. Rusty Wallace, Dale, Bill, Elliot, Axel Richardson jumping into the top ten. Good for him. Good hot run for him this race. Cal Petty, P11. 
Ward Burton, P12, and uh, Ricky Red running P19. Yours truly, I'm running P26. <laughs> it's just changed my name to P26, because that's how that's where I'm always running. Uh, John Smith, Miracle Run this race, P31 right now. Steve Boobs, we haven't talked about Steve Boobs. He was fun in the first half. Now he's just a tur he's just a, a field filler, and he has you know after his the hot wife situation cleared up, you know I haven't really been talking to him that much. Jim Parrott there back P36. Uh, Lake Speed. Oh excuse me folks. Lake Speed two laps down after his early wreck, and Rick Mass and Jeff Bodine have both DNF. We've most likely shown all that hot action for you folks. Anyway, stay tuned. I forgot to check the name of the race again. So we'll be back here at Michigan for the Jim Jam 400 here on CBS Sports. All across America, computers are changing people's lives. And one company is changing the way people buy them. Comp USA. With the brands you want, all at guaranteed low prices. Like Corel Draw 3.0, the easy to use all in one graphic software. And find any window document in three seconds with Phoenix Eclipse Find. We're everything you're looking for. Alright folks, we are back here in Michigan at the, at the Butthole 400. <laughs> so, <laughs> getting some uh, getting some excellent looks here from way up uh, above the racetrack here. It's That's the Netscape Navigator Copter Cam. Netscape Navigator. <laughs> I can't think of anything. Anyway, folks, special treat for you here at CBS Sports. We have none other than the Intimidator, Dale Earnhardt himself, mic'd up this race on, on the in-car, in -car, yeah, the radio. Let's see if we can get him uh, keyed up here. Hey, uh, Dale Earnhardt, <laughs> this is uh, Andre the Giant with uh, CBS Sports. You got a copy? <coughs> All right, Dale, uh, you're running P7 right now. Um, you're, uh, six tenths behind Rusty Wallace. You're not even racing anybody. I thought you were the Intimidator, but you're not intimidating anybody this race. I'm doing the whole family, Andre. Yeah, that's, that, that's pretty intimidating, Dale. Uh, your, your, your son is, uh, planning on, <laughs> your son's planning on joining the, uh, series in a couple of years. How do you feel about that? Well, there's no nepotism from my neck of wood. <laughs> this, this, this isn't Dale Earnhardt. Anyway, we'll let Dale get back to racing. And, uh... We'll send it, we'll send it up to... Or we'll send it back to Ricky Rudd here. We're about eight, nine laps from pissed off. So we'll see what Ricky's up to. Ricky, all you, buddy. All right, thanks, Andre. I should really plan those out. <laughs> I was just right before I came back. I was like, "Who can we talk to?" Oh, let's let's go for let's go for Dale. So that uh, keyboard script doesn't want to work like I like it had been. It should have popped F1 up, and it didn't. I gotta go back to the drawing board on that. It cycles through the standings. We got that figured out. There was a fear in the back of my mind because it doesn't work with NR 2003. And now that we're out of DOS box and we're back in like a Windows native application, I had fears that something wouldn't work anymore. What'd he say? Dale Jarrett's in the lead. During pit stop or during commercial, we didn't have any wrecks or anything. We had Jeff Bodine pit again. Okay. He's a little bit off of everyone else's window. I want to check the interval here, see if I'm gaining time or what I'm doing compared to the leader. This is a really good time to figure out if the difficulty is good or not. 
So I have some laps under me. Getting around the track fast. Just made some passes. They might be slow at the end at, in this run. I don't know. We don't. That's 17-3 there. I don't want it to change too much. Either way. Just need a better qualifying start. Or a start. See, t one tenth. That's good. Uh, oh, we got a bunch of lap down cars too. So he may be in traffic. That's kind of what I mean when I was talking earlier about them. It's just like a better kind of aggressiveness. Basically, I knew I couldn't fit down there unless it was perfect. But it's almost like they give you, they were like, oh, if you're going to do this, it better be perfect. And we'll give you an idea here. Yeah, I wanted a better setup there. I wanted to be a little closer or more up against Jeff, o or Jeff Burton. To see if he was gonna just Clear. cut us off coming up the track or what. I mean, this is fantastic. I mean, these the the new 3D FX wrapper or whatever I have combined with the tracks looking a little bit better. Like this is amazing. But the main thing is keeping that and that NASCAR 2 aesthetic because once you start digging. Once you start going, turn three. I'm coming up on turn three. Let's be careful. Go low. Go low. Go low. Are we still okay? I see. I, I see everything happening here. Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon got beat up. Who else? Sterling Marlin. These took out a bunch of leaders. I'm gaining some spots here. What the hell was I talking about? Oh, like the... And uh, once you get closer to NR2003, once you start even tapping into NASCAR Racing 3, it just doesn't have the same feel. I don't know. It's just fun racing these old older games, and now that they look good, we the people have figured out, you know... Whatever Pavel did with this N99 situation, unbelievable. All right, so we are on pit stops here. Lap 36. We got five minutes left on our replay timer. Everything's looking good here. And I'm probably, I'm, <laughs> I'm P5 right now, yeah, during pit stops, but now I'm really curious to see where I shake out. And we're gonna have slower car, we're gonna have more slow cars on the track. This might get interesting. Unfortunately, I only have 14 laps to do something. All right, here you go. Watch your speed now. Keep it on 7500. Auto brake is now turned on. Here we go. Axel Richardson's leading the lap, it looks like. Anybody DNF out of that? No, but Jeff Gordon, Ken Schrader. Jeff Burton, Brett Bodine. Go, 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 go. Watch your speed now. Keep it on 7,500. Car high. Keep it on 7,500. Oh, I don't like being near them on pit road. He's going to, he better, he better acknowledge me. Still there. Keep it on 7,500. Stay low. Clear. All right, good. Keep it on 7500. <laughs> All right, we got a tiptoe on the apron here. Because they run a low line. I don't want to spook them. Sterling Marlin apparently wasn't part of that wreck. He was just pitting on the pit window, but he just blew up. I'm going to I'm going to pass Daryl Waltrip here for position. Eventful part of the race here. Okay, the next three cars in front are all four positions. 
Wait a minute, what just happened? Did that just F1? I think the standings just ran and then it moved to F1. I don't know, folks. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Where am I now? P11. I can get another top 10. If we can catch Kyle Petty. I'm not sure if the... Uh, not sure if we're going to have enough time. I don't know when their tires start wearing down. See, there's my 39.6 on fresh tires. Which I, I use my race setup as my qualifying setup, so I could have run a 39.6 in qualifying, and I didn't. Okay. Oh boy, here we go. Is this a leader situation? Is people are people slowing up? What are they doing? Slow car up high. Was that Jeff Gordon again? <laughs> He's missing half. He looks like. It looks like Michael Waltrip's car after that Bristol wreck. The 31 car is a lap down. 31 car. Oh. I was like, who the hell is the 31 car? It's Joe Parrott, of course. I'm risking it all. I don't think that wreck got got us a position here, no. But Jeff Gordon's... <laughs> we've been talking up Jeff Gordon. Apparently he took a couple... <laughs> took a couple to the chin this race. It's going to knock him back down the points. Tell you what's an underrated feature on the iPhone. I think, that, and they just did it with the the recent iOS or whenever that was in the fall. Um, if you set a timer, the phone screen will actually turn on about three or four seconds before the timer goes off. And I've it's just a great little attention to detail there, because like if you're just if you have a timer set and you're just like, hey, I. You know, I don't want everyone to hear this timer go off. The screen turning on alerts you to the fact that the timer is about to go off. That's a nice, cool little detail. My screen just turned on, and here comes the timer. Yeah, pretty cool. I knew that. I knew that timer was coming up soon. Oh my god. So yeah, if, if you've been watching these videos and you just saw... I'm not sure what happened with the Lake Speed wreck. But folks, the Jeff Gordon wreck was, a, was the first contact wreck that we've seen. So I'm hoping the Lake Speed thing was a spin-out. So now we have spin-outs and AI contact wrecking. Oh my goodness. We're in heaven. We'll get around Steve Boobs here. No, oh, that's fine. But yeah, I just hope, no, actually, no, there are spin outs because I just looked at all the, the, the replays and Jeff Gordon spun out after he had wrecked. He, he had a spin out in that same part of the track. So yeah, we have spin outs. John Smith and Gordon, they, they contacted for a wreck. Oh man, this can't be beat. Um, and yeah, we 
We've got four to go. Guessing Dale Jarrett's getting this one. And, I mean, I, you know, I'm bad at storylines. Um, they're keeping track of storylines. Dale Jarrett. Dale Jarrett won the first Michigan race. So here he is again running away with this. And I'm guessing we would have got a caution from one of those things. So, I don't know. I just want to keep cautions off. I want to run the races. These caution laps are just so long. I think there's a patch, though, that or there's something where it just changes to, like, a one-lap uh, one caution period. If there's nobody a lap down or something, I don't know. Oh, and this N99 has double foul restarts, which again we have uh, we haven't really touched upon because we don't do restarts, couldn't cautions and whatnot. Anyway, we're only gonna get one in-car report from Andre this race until we figure out what we want to do with the replay setup. Meanwhile, I've been able to. I'm guessing Axel Richardson is slow. Cal Petty's caught up to him. Can't really get around him. So I'm going to sneak into the top 10 again with two to go. I'm going to stay below them in case they spin out. So, yeah, I guess, you know, this is a 99, a shell, NASCAR Racing 2 aesthetic. But I guess the AI is a little bit different if, we, if that's our first AI contact wreck we've seen. Unless it's, unless it's so rare that this is the first time we've seen it. I don't know. I think it's just the AI is a little bit different. Oh, of course there is. Just as I'm coming into turn four. Where are we at? I think he was lying. Unless we were, unless that was right behind me. Unless that was right behind me. And the game recognized it as turn four. Which, no, we were, in we were clearly in turn three there. I don't know. But anyway, I have climbed, benefited for some, from those wrecks. Nope, here's the wreck. Bill Elliott wrecked. So I just gained another spot off of Rusty Wallace there, I think. This is nice. Nice. And there's the uh, ending splash screen. If you've seen the other ones, you can see them back there trying to push the car. But the... This and like the the garage, the weekend. If I hit escape here, you'll be able to see it here in a second. But the, these car positions are just hardwired into N99, and you can't change them. So <laughs> I was like, "Oh, that's a deal breaker, man." I guess you can't. I guess I'm not going to run the game now. But there you go. Oh, that that just that just stays on there for a while and then disappears. So that's how this looks now. And then standings. I'm going to save this so I can res for results. So I can. Uh, tally the points and everything so yeah in case you can't tell i'm really excited about this n99 situation i mean we have i actually made notes here um yeah first of all the, ca the cars at the beginning i had to add something in post there a note about it i don't know i haven't been able to replicate it i think it's something to do with saving while the replay is going on the previous replay or something i don't know but those are i, I have no idea what happened there um, but yeah, we have we had we have Rex now with the AI making contact with each other. We still have the spin outs. Um, this is this is great. <laughs> this is just great. Um, and if you saw during the uh, John Smith Jeff Gordon wreck, the, these cars still ghost into each other. Whenever it's like, yeah, we're not gonna cause this huge pile up. So that's awesome too. A couple cars ghosted through John Smith. I think Sterling Marlin did. Somebody else did as well. Um, and, well, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. And then uh, how about Andre the Giant here on the results? Let a lap. We won't hear the end of that because 
He's led the same number of laps as Ricky Red this season now. Um, Del Jarrett got that win. I finished top 10 and uh, got lucky there. Or I was already in the top 10, but then the the Bill Elliott wreck there at the end really helped me out. Rusty Wallace was really having a tough time with that. Um, Axel Richardson, top 10 finish. Daryl Waltrip. Jimmy Spencer with another good finish. Um... So yeah, so the skill ratings, I don't know how much we should look into it. Like, uh, do we want Jimmy Spencer in the top 10 every race? Do we want, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, there's a reason these guys are considered the top 10 drivers because they're always there. I don't know. Um, and let's see, um, yeah, Bill Elliott, I think he was, yeah, probably running top 10 there before that wreck. And, um... Let me think here. What else? Yeah, the Jeff Gordon wreck. He <laughs> that's gonna stifle his. Uh, I still think I still think Jeff Gordon's gonna win this championship. I think he's just gonna keep on coming. Um, but Sterling Marlin had Sterling Marlin, Andrew Nemechek had those smoke ups or whatever during the pit stop cycle. And then Jeff Bodine and Rick Mass both we lost them early, and then the Lake Speed wreck happened in front of us. This was a fun race. These graphics, quote unquote, look so much better. The videos look better. Uh, the racing feels different, but as good or better than NR2. So this is an unbelievable build. And um, I made a note on my uh, sheet here to link to the forum that has this. It's just it's just drop and drop and go, from the best of my knowledge. Um. I'll, I'll leave some instructions there in the description on what exactly to do. It's really simple. Uh, as far as getting a wheel set up, I'm not 100% sure. But just leave a comment in here. We'll figure it out. Um, but uh, Or, I mean, just uh, make, a, uh, make an account with that ICR. The, the thing I linked to. Make an account there and uh, start a thread or continue in the thread where I was talking with uh, Pavel and uh, ask some questions. Because guess what? 15 years from now, somebody, somebody's going to want to play this game and they're going to be Googling. And instead of stumbling across a YouTube comment site, uh, yeah, they'll go to this forum that has all the information. So you got to think ahead for the, for the kids, for the future. But all right, great race. I don't know where we're going. I think Brickyard. We're going to the Brickyard next. Uh, that video will be coming. Probably the Brickyard and then another one before Christmas. And then take a few days off around Christmas and then come back strong. Who cares about New Year's? We'll just blow through New Year's and keep, keep the uploads coming. All right. Hey, thanks for watching.